Richard, what are we doing now? We're going to do beer can chicken. That's one of my favourites. Beer can chicken with roasted veg, perfect Sunday or any time of the week. And with the new... The, uh, the gourmet system poultry yeah. roaster, a little bit bigger than the other ones, um, gives you more space for vegetables and it has a removable centre well. It's kind of two products in one really because you can take that out and use it as a, a veg basket um, or you put that in. And also it's greater for bigger birds as well. Oh yeah. If you're doing those on the barbecue, great for big birds. So I've got some beer, I've got some vegetables and I've got our chicken. Really simple. Some oil over the top. This is just going to help the seasonings to stick. In this little dish here, got some sea salt and some pepper. I just love sea salt, don't you? Such a milder flavour, yeah. such a much more f milder flavour than your, your typical table salt. That just gets, looks like a lot, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub that all over the bird. Do you want to put the beer in the, um, mm. in the well while yeah. I'm doing this? And what I also like to do, I've got a couple of sprigs of rosemary here because I like to put some aromatics in there. Yeah. Um, sometimes people will tell you, easy, make sure you save me some. Um, <laughs> sometimes people will, will disregard the flavours that's in there when they've yeah. actually cooked the chicken. Skim that off, add that to your gravy. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. So chicken's, chicken's all seasoned. This goes on. Oh, pop the rosemary in. Come on, you're slacking. Oh, come Just on. break it up and pop it in. Break it up, pop it in. That's going to give a nice infusion of flavour to our little bird here. I, so I thought I wasn't... You're not, you're not getting involved in the yeah. cooking. Well, you know, <laughs> things change. So that goes on, push that down, make sure it's nice and firm. The vegetables, if you just pop those in, yeah. because one of the things is sometimes, this one actually isn't too bad, but um, sometimes with the chicken, the neck, um, the neck is a way of steam escaping through the yeah. top, and we want to yeah. keep the steam that's going to be produced by that liquid that's going to boil. We want to keep that inside the cavity of the chicken. So if we just work this open, I'm going to just shove a wedge onions, of lemon in there. I love roasted onions. Oh, Such an underrated roasted vegetable. So they're all just going to get tumbled around. The great thing about putting the vegetables in early is that once they're cooked, they come out, and you're not yeah. trying to time your vegetables with your, with your poultry. So this is ready for the barbecue. Yeah. We've got the summit already set up. Brilliant. We've got it set up on an indirect heat. So I've got burners one, six, and number two on. We're giving us a temperature of around about 175, yeah. 180 degrees C. Lift the lid. The gourmet grate, I've removed it while yeah, it was perfect. cold. I just thought it was the safest thing to do. Chicken goes in over the area of indirect heat. And time-wise? Time-wise for a 1.5 kilo chicken, I'm thinking around about an hour and a quarter, but we'll Brilliant. come back in about an hour and we'll just give it a probe with the digital temperature okay. probe. We'll make sure, and we're looking for 75 in the target temperature, so we'll take a, we'll take a look at that hour Lovely. point. Lovely, should be All ready right. for lunchtime then. Absolutely. Right, Richard, I think the chicken must be ready by now. Should be, it's been in about an hour and a half, oh, hour and a quarter, hour and a half, look at it. Nice little bit of crispy skin. Make sure the temperature probe switched on. Tip of the probe into the deepest parts. Look at that. 78. And look, again, we're looking for we're looking for 75, aren't we? Yeah. These are a good little accessory, aren't they? Yeah, brilliant. So check the legs as well. All the juices should run clear on these. You check the chicken in exactly the same way as you check it at home. So juices run clear, everything else. Our roasters are good to go as well. Um, let's just bring this off. Lid down. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that. Take that to the table and carve that. Yeah. What about that for a Sunday? I'll room? let you do the carving. You're an expert. So, if I if I do the carving, do you want to um, do you want to lift the veggies out and yeah, just put them onto do, the yeah. plate? So, yeah. we'll get this chicken off here. You can see the steam coming out of there, yeah. which you know that was full when we. Um, oh, easy. So I'd use that for some gravy in there. Absolutely. Take that out. Skim that off. So to carve the chicken, you normally let this rest a little bit, but for the sake of video, we're just going to go with it. So to carve the chicken, carve down this, this the, um, either side of the the, uh, the the breastbone, which runs down the centre of the, the crown. And then we're going to take that entire breast completely. That's quite hot. This is fine. That's fine. Yep. You've got I'm just leaving nice you some there. room for the chicken there. If you look in here, though, you can see this chicken is perfectly cooked all the way through. Again, as we mentioned about before, you don't need to start chicken off in the, in the kitchen. You can cook chicken all the way through safely on the barbecue, can't you? Yep. You don't need to do that. Take that out of the way. Take that little wing off, put that on there. To carve a chicken, again, take the breast off, and then you can just slice down using the length and weight of the knife to do the work. Dead how, simple. How moist that is. If I just get to the thickest part and then pick that up and see if we just Gorgeous. catch the light with that. So. 
that goes on there. I'm not going to carve the rest of the chicken. We're just going to pop that on there, but you get the effect. So knife underneath. That can go on. That is a beer can chicken in the gourmet system. How about that? Brilliant. How easy is that? Are we going to try it? I think we should, shouldn't we? Yeah. Let's have a bit of a let's have a bit of a taste. We haven't fed the chefs yet, or even the you mean the film crew. Yeah, the film crew. I feel a bit mean, really. Mm. Nice and juicy. I've done that salt. A little bit of the salt on the outside, but that is absolutely. I can pick up a little bit of the rosemary mm. coming through from the um, where we put the rosemary into the centre of the well on the mm. on the gourmet roaster. But nice and juicy. Dry food doesn't steam like that, does it? No. Cooking it outside, barbecue draws in that damp air, keeps your food nice and juicy, doesn't it? Nice and moist. Yeah. Not overcooking it. Using the temperature probe. Fail safe chicken every time, and that was cooked using the indirect method. Mm. Gas or charcoal makes no difference whatsoever. I think everybody should try that at home, shouldn't they? Yeah, and the veg yeah. is perfect. Oh, the veg. Let's try a little potato. Love it. Amazing. Brilliant. Perfect that is Sunday roast every time. Chicken, isn't it? Yeah. Sunday roast outside from now on. Yeah. Great. Thank perfect. You. Another great video. Brilliant. Thank Thanks, you. Russell.